All right, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Justin Norm. I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Waveform to create new audio tracks and to get to record. Now, I am still fairly new to this, but we're gonna get right into this thing. If you don't know how to create a new project, we're gonna go to welcome, then new project, put your title in there, find out where you wanna save it, and then you're good to go. Then once you go to your actual project, you'll see it right here. You can notice right now that I'm getting a signal right here where it says track one. And if I wanna make sure that that's set correctly, you wanna right click on it and you wanna set to whatever input you want it to be on. In this case, I have my microphone plugged into channel one. So I'm gonna put it on input one. Yeah. And I think I'm just gonna record some like, um, some harmony stuff basically. Uh, good thing about it, W is still a shortcut. If you're familiar with Cakewalk, this one works the same way. So W will rewind it back to the very beginning. You have your metronome, which is right down here at the bottom. Your metronome will allow you to have metronome markings on while it is playing. There's a shortcut for it, it says C. So if you press C, you can turn it on and off. That's good to know. You can do a count in, you can do one bar count in. One bar just means four beats, all right? I like it, like say that. And actually that's probably better. I don't mind if it's like, it doesn't have to be perfect. Control S that, bring it back in. All right, and we just wanna go ahead and add some effects on it. So the good thing about this is that most of the effects that I have that I use in Cakewalk and I'll be using here, it seems like anyway. Um, so let's see, but then what does Waveform have? Let's see, effects. Let's add a, oh, let's see if I can send these to something I haven't done before, you all. Let's see if I can send these to a bus see so right click okay add track add submix track oh maybe S uh submix track pack selected tracks to a photo track pack selected tracks to a submix track let's call that let's see let's see what that is and then maybe we can just add the compression to here directly maybe Let's see what kind of, we got a side chain here. Let's just hear what that sounds like. Definitely controls it. <clears throat> I can definitely tell that it's compressed, that's for sure. Uh, let's adjust this a little bit. Threshold, bring threshold. Okay. Just a release a little bit. Do it again. Okay. Plate reverb. Let's see what that sounds like. And let's add it after compression. Let's add a eight band EQ. Let's add it. Uh, let's add it before compression. Oh, nice. So you can click on each band. Does this drag out? Okay, oops, I didn't mean to do that. This drags out. Ah, oh, that's dope. Love it. So let's click here. Band one, this is band one, right? Okay, enable, low shelf, let's change it to high pass. And you can adjust the frequency, you can trust, oh, the cue, that's nice. That's nice. Bring it in till we don't hear it anymore. Until we hear it, oh, go back. Okay, probably right here. Let's see, do it again. Okay, 
I kind of like that. All right, we got um, got any low end we need to do? Let's just a cue on this. Okay, that's probably good. And it might. Let me do a high shelf. Okay, so can I pick this node and then change it to? Oh, it's already set on high shelf. Well, duh. Let's try that. Cool. All right, that's pretty cool. I can. Um, wow. It looks so different, you all. But I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. You know. It's, when you can get in here easily and just record things and you know not need a lot of um help basically <laughs> that's actually a, a plus so oh there's patch bays on here maybe cc I, there's a lot of stuff in here you all and i'm not even talking about the stuff that i had like extra because of my other dolls but this is wow this is crazy I really want to get into really recording. I might actually make that a project to record one song. I might start to do it next week. And maybe you might want to see me do it. Speaking of seeing me, do you notice anything that's a little different? Your boy got a new camera. It's an eMe 4K. This is something that I just bought and I'm going to be using it a lot more. So you let me know if it looks better than the other camera. You can go back and look at some of my other footage. If you're interested in this particular camera, the eMeet 4K, then definitely look in the description below. I have an affiliate link down there right now that's offering 10% off. So definitely click on that, get you this camera. As a musician or as a studio person, it's always helpful to have good gear when it comes to cameras and audio. Now the audio stuff, I'm upgrading slowly. But my camera, I've been on it for like the last nine or 10 years. So I definitely needed to upgrade. And I hope that you need to upgrade yours too as well. So definitely click on the link below. All right, this is Justin Norm. I love you all. Peace.